think I've been holding myself back with limiting beliefs. Everybody does. Beliefs do dilute, but they have value too. So let's not condemn beliefs. Let's appreciate the clarity of desire that they've produced and then try to soften them so they stay out of the way so that you can see what they've produced. Isn't that a nice way of looking at that? Yeah. Pushing what I've been brought up with aside to then look further in the future in a different way. Here's the thing. Trying to push anything aside just makes it stronger, like your friend that you argue with. There's a war against drugs and a war against cancer and a war against and a war against, and they're all getting bigger. Haven't you noticed? Every time somebody wages a war, it gets bigger. So rather than push against it, rather than try to push it out of the way, instead, look for the clarity that it has produced. Well, that's what, the clarity's starting to come. And, and I'm, I'm been, been seeing the benefits of, of a, a different way to look at life. But I still have that. We want to give you a little story here because we know, we hear this from a lot of you who have come to a certain place of clarity. And of course, you still want more. You always will. It's an eternal quest, evolution. Since we are all eternal, more must be understood and embraced. So there's no standing still and there's no going back. So going with the flow of expansion is a really good thing. But there is a strong human attitude that takes place in these rooms quite often that goes something like you described just now, that you were raised in different belief systems that now you're trying to push aside. And that'll get you nowhere. Look at it this way. Let's say that you stepped into a vehicle and it wasn't awesome by today's standards, but it was awesome by that day's standards. And you step in it and you moved forward in it for a while. And then you looked over and there was something much more in sync with your now desires and understanding. So you stepped into that and off you go for a while. And then after a little while, you see another and you step into that and off you go. But you don't want to condemn the vehicle that took you to that one, 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 that took you to that one. It's all part of the evolution. You don't want to stand where you are and ever feel regret for how you got here. Because that makes where you are full of resistance and makes you less open to the receiving that could be there right where you are. Yeah. I think I'm in the right spot right now. We think so too. And we think you were then and then and then and then and then and then. You see, let's chew on this just for a little bit. We want to put all of you at ease relative to your emergence into this physical body in this time and space. So, splat, there you are. Now, you started this conversation with just the best word ever, the word clarity. And we identify that clarity is alignment with the whole of you. And clarity is about focus. So you were born into an environment, we're talking about the whole Earth's experience, of enormous variation and diversity. Oh, it's just beautiful and perfect and balanced. Understanding, you made the decision to come deliberately because you understood that out of all of that would come your opportunity to come to your own decisions and desires. So you weren't pushing against anything that was here. Not one of you said, I'll go, but clean it up before I get there. One political party, please, in agreement. One religion. Please decide how you see God, and once you're all in agreement and you're no longer killing each other over that, I'll come. Not one of you said that. Instead, you came knowing that the diversity would help you to focus. So think about what focusing actually is. Isn't relationship with something necessary to focus? If you came into this room and it was a room that was completely devoid of light, while with your other senses, you may be able to 
find your way to some extent. Isn't it nice that you could use your eyes to focus? Isn't it nice that you have some relationship with your chair? Isn't it nice that you have some relationship with one another? We know this is a really bulky, obvious analogy, but everything around you is necessary for you to focus. And so being born into a belief system, every single one of you knew that no matter what belief system you were born into, it would evolve into something that was bigger and more. Every one of you knew that. And not one of you came into this body making war with any belief systems that existed. That's why you came in such diversity into so many different belief systems. There is a belief system that goes across the board with humanity, that serves you and yet doesn't serve you, that we like to talk about all day, every day. And that's the belief system that you all have in your infatuation with. Oh, you're more than infatuated with it. You so embrace now reality. What is now has so much of your attention that you hold yourself back from the creation that you've already put into your vortex. So it's going, it's believing in yourself in those relationships. But which self? There's the you who is under the influence of the whole of who you are, and there's the you who may be influenced by other humans who are insecure. And what we're saying to you is, even if you were born into an environment of insecurity, where they sought to control you and it was fear-mongering and they warned you against all kinds of things. Still, there was value in the focus that that provided for you because out of that was born clarity of who you really are and lots of impulses from your inner being. And so believing in yourself, when you say that, what we mean by that is getting a whiff of what your inner being, the total you really know is about this. And when that happens... When you really hook up with who you really are, you don't feel one bit of impulse to push against one bit of anyone. When you're really tuned into who you are, it's only their assets and their positive aspects that your inner being ever focuses upon. That's the big benefit of your inner being.